This is what you call a dream that you never had coming true. I never expected anything like this. And the first person or two people I want to thank for this honor are two very close friends, people I have known for well over 50 years now. One could not be here, and that is Bob Shaneborn, who's also retired uh, the lieutenant colonel, and also his picture hangs in the Hall of Honors as well. He's the one who just dogged me constantly. He said, Herb, please send me the information on your career in the Army. <laughs> and I kept putting it off and putting it off. And he said, no, I, I mean it. Send me those. And then his uh, now ex-wife, uh, Gayla Shaneborn, she's my wife's first cousin. See, that's where the connection is. <laughs> She dogged me and dogged me and dogged me <laughs> and called me and said, Herb, you've got to get this done. <laughs> Gayla, thank you. You have been so precious. She's here. I also want to thank my family. My son could not be here because of his work schedule. My daughter, Christy, uh, came from West Palm Beach to be with us today. Uh, I'm so proud of her. She put up a lot while I was in the uh, Army Reserves and uh, as a college professor and as a pastor. I think the latest, last, latest one gave her the most problems, being a pastor's kid. But I'm more than not anything else, I want to thank the sweet lady that agreed to be my wife and married me in December 1967. We both graduated in 1968. She at the top of the class, me at the bottom. I could, I could have done it without you, Beverly. One thing that I will say to you, and I'm sure the others, the other two colonels that are here with me, I just did the job I was ordered to do. That's all. I did it for no glory. I never thought of anything like this. It never crossed my mind. But it feels good <laughs> to be recognized <laughs> for something. And I wanna thank the uh, Three generals, I think, that are here today. Thank you, gentlemen. I had the honor of serving with the Arkansas Guard my first two years. <laughs> and, uh, it was a wonderful experience, and I was hated it that I could not transfer to the Florida Guard. It seems they were won over in chaplains. So, but I was very fortunate that the 7th and 9th Field Artillery uh, asked me to be their chaplain, and I, that was a great experience as well. Thank you all, all of you for everything. My wonderful friend, Dr. Damphouse, thank you all.